Hello guys, in this video we're gonna see Strange Spoon and Impervious, Reaper, Magic Flowers, Strange Spoon and Madness, which is a weird combo. Yeah, we managed to spoon it up. Enjoy. That makes me motivated to win 7,000 runs in a row. That makes me motivated. Emulate button. No, I'm saying everything was perfect as it should be. The fight, every decision I made was fine. I'm just minus 15 HP because I took damage from the birds. That's basically what I'm saying. I made a mistake in that fight. It's slime boss. Did you ever take several solo slime boss button? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna keep it as a because I, I figured if I draft for slime boss, I never lose Act One because slime boss is one of my number one death. Death fights. Ah, oh, we have two rare cards. We're in good shape. We have, this is a really good X one already. We could do Sentinel with the fact that we have Severed Soul. Sentinel Severed Soul is kind of interesting, but it's getting kind of weird at the same time. I guess the question is, are we going to upgrade Immolate or are we going to upgrade Bludgeon? I think we upgrade Bludgeon. Eh. Fruit Chew, second wind. Glorious. We drafted for the sign bus, so we're good. We never lose. Upgrade Bludgeon versus Emulate. What's better? Emulate is better for the Triple Sentry. Bludgeon is better for Log of Volan and for Gremlin Knob. Triple Sentry is easy as it is, so let's upgrade the Bludgeon card. I forgot to mention that uh, Emulate is better for this fight as well. But this is a mere flesh wound because I take no damage and I win the fight. Give me a potion. And this is GG. We can consider Rupture or a second. Um, well, Rupture I can't consider, but we can consider the shr second shrug. Or we can skip. So here we want to get bash, or just do the bludgeon button. We just do the bludgeon button, right? Unless you want to stall. If we stall, we can do bash anyways. Let's do the bludgeon button. I've killed the Harlequin in 10 minutes. Eh. We can just, honestly, we can just, yeah, we can just... Do bludgeon again. I guess maybe it was worth considering. But bludgeon wins this fight pretty easily. Eh, it's not guaranteed, but if you draw him late, it's GG. Alright, I don't hate this. I mean, maybe I could just scope out to save some life because of the fight, if they drop a potion, but my potion chance wasn't high. The charm is a good card, and those are good upgrades. Kathy's was great. And this fight should be really easy for us. There's a world where you do skip up, maybe find Shockwave. Because if it was Shockwave, you probably have Lethal. Because now, if you don't draw exactly Immolate, you're a little bit sad. Okay, I'm hoping that they don't drop potions because I'm, I'm, I am holding onto the skill pot. Ah, oh, nice. We got Barricade. And Barricade says, I'm a curse. I'm a fat curse. The biggest curse. However, if you get me out, sometimes Captain's Field stays and Ghost Armor can stay. And in fact, you can handle a curse because you have two rares already. I'm going to take the curse. I think better of that was maybe Body Stamp because Body Stamp Captain's Field. But let me tell you what. This body, Barricade curse is going to be fantastic. In just the Jiffy. Ah, this almost got killed as well. Potion Pinch is pretty high here. Since the potion chance is pretty high, I should have done that first. Severso would have saved life. But now I got a barricade curse and I'm pretty happy about it. I'm not happy about that fact that this guy stays alive. Uh, can we get away with just actually, you know what? Let's just do this. I could do bludgeon there, but this is fine. We have so much damage in the deck, it's fine. 
Case in point, Potion Chop called it. Sure Boomerang is actually not bad because we do have Doofy Doll. And we might play around that, but you know what's better than that? The Anger. The Anger works with the Bludgeon and everything else. The Super Ring or the Anger. The Super Ring does work with the Do It All, but Anger also does the same thing. Yeah, don't worry about the Barricade Curse. It looks bad right now, but once I get a little cheeky little upgrade on it, get like Impervious from the boss and a couple of other things, we have Second Wind Barricade deck and everything else. This deck, this deck is amazing. Emily for Act 2. Ah, let's do the Anger then. Offering. Ooh, we know what Offering says? Okay, Blood Vow, would you guys buy Blood Vow for Sustain? Or would you click the Offering button? Because Offering button says, now I can actually play the Barricade and you're sometimes play your Bludgeon and all these other things. And if you get Barricade out reliably with Captain's Veal and Ghostly Armor Plus in the deck and the Fen Plus, Offering just makes the Barricade incredible. But you can take Blood Vow, Blood Vow doesn't seem that great to draw. Um, it might just be Offering Button and Remove, but... Am I crazy? Am I crazy for buying an offering for 176? <laughs> Ooh, let's anger them. But if I take the curse, I get heal and I get plus one strength. Ooh, let's anger them. I didn't upgrade my emulate, which by the way, if I upgrade emulate, this fight is free. The fight, the fight was probably free regardless, actually. Uh, we just want to draw into emulate, right? Uh, this is awkward. Because you want to draw into emulate. And if I don't draw to emulate, I'm leaving them alive is really bad if I don't draw to emulate, right? Yeah, I don't think I've ever played for Blood Vow either. Well, that fight's over. Got the mushroom. Perfect emulate play. Gotta love it. Just calculated all the way, dude. And we got second win for the slimes. I'm feeling good. Headbutt? Nah. Reckless Charge? Nah. If I had Evolve, yeah. I never. I don't have an emulate upgrade for this fight, but this fight should be easy as well. Just do the emulate button as well. Okay, or not, or just take way too much damage, or just take way too much damage, huh? That's okay, the emulate button's coming up, right? Would you guys, eh, this is fine. But would you guys rather do barricade though? I mean, the emulate button's good, but what if you just barricade instead? You know what I mean? Barricade saves 8 block, and then it makes the rest of the fight free with ghostly armor. And this is a fight where Barricade might save more life, right? I mean, it's kind of hard to say. But think about it for a second. If you Barricade, then next time we also get X's block with ghostly armor. We could even use Offering to draw back into the, um... The Immolate. Immolate's always killing these things anyways. I mean, I'm putting a lot of days in my deck, though. That's the problem. Damn. Barricade was kind of sick. All that nice extra block. Cause look at all this block we're gonna have. Is this is this a fight worth using offering for? Maybe maybe emulate solves this fight so well that I don't need to use offering for this fight. Peace pipe. Funeral Pain, Dark Embrace. Now, Dark Embrace says, Hi, I see your second wind. Draw engine. Funeral Pain says, I see your second wind. Block engine. And block engine means barricade. With Funeral Pain, I might unironically upgrade barricade to make it more playable. And then we can just barricade the heart. Sorry, we can barricade act two. Because right now, we're, we're going to say that, ah, you know what? I think our deck is fine for the slime boss. We have ways to manage things. So, Dark Embrace is better because if you second win the slimes, you actually draw into lethal damage. But Funeral Pain with Barricade makes it so that you don't take damage in the first place. 
I'm gonna do Funeral Pain first, but what do you guys think about Dark Embrace as your draw engine? Draw engine would be nice if you have energy. I don't really have energy. What I want to do is maximize my block. So we could toke a random strike, or we could upgrade the barricade to make it playable. Oh, maybe, okay, you guys want to upgrade... Wait, 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 wait. You guys want to upgrade Immolate, right? But making barricade playable is so good here, because it plays perfectly with this barricade, Captain Wheel, second wind, Funeral Pain. But Emulate Plus is so good for Act 2. Dark Embrace is for later on, Act 3. Right now, Final Pain is actually pretty decent. I can, I can work around with this. It's playable, it's realistic. And it extracts more value from the cards you can play with a little bit of energy, whereas Dark Embrace requires more energy. This requires the opposite. This just makes you know more energy efficient per card. That's why Final Pain is perfect there. But upgrade emulate is really good for Act 2. I mean, we're really disrespecting the slime boss here, but I think I've drafted enough cards to make it worthwhile. Alright. Got the Funeral Pain, got the second wins. Alright, we got Captain's Joe. We block all this. All the block that we built up already gone, but... We can get Bash Bludgeon. Okay, we don't get Bash Bludgeon. That's sad. However, we did accrue some block advantage. Oh my god. We even got second wind. But you know what's better than second wind is Ghost the Armor Bash. Because we still want to do damage after all, right? And now here's the thing. Boom. Go for the split. Oh, we can wait for Bludgeon though. Or we can go for the split now. Yeah, let's go for the split. Decent split, 33 block left over, bludgeon kills one of them. I mean, I drafted for the slime boss and it paid off. This makes me very happy. This makes me so happy. We have peace back to remove, I don't know if we're ever going to get around to doing that. Oh my god, we got impervious. We got Impervious. We got a barricade deck, boys. Isaac, that's so rough, buddy. But Reaper with Doobidol is to sustain. So Reaper says, hi, I'm sustained, and you're running Offering. How about you take some sustain? Oh, you want a Coffee Tripper? Who wanted it? Somebody wanted it. And now Reaper's screaming at me, but it's okay. Instead of Coffee Tripper, we're just going to remove everything. Remove and upgrade. And now let's go for elites. So we gotta upgrade the emulate. And then we can do four elites. But right now I only see three. So I'll do three elites and we'll upgrade the emulate button and then go for yeah, keep going. And then we also have against the champ we have barricades, so that fight solve. If I find one body slam, we're good. But in lieu of body slam, we just get an infinite block, it doesn't matter, we can kill with anything. First and foremost, let's go for this path. So when I don't get the barricade button right away, it's kind of sad because that impervious is now not useful and I'm about to get frail. And of course I'm trying to, um, I am trying to play barricade more often. We got it, but then isn't bludgeon just like, so bludgeon is more appropriate, isn't it? So this is the problem with barricade, it's like, oh yeah, there's barricade, but there's also bludgeon. For lethal. But that's okay. Sometimes it's, it's just nice to have the option. Shrugate would be nice if I could upgrade it, but I have too much upgrade debt, so I skip it. Left of Blood works with offering, but again, upgrade debt, skip. Turn 1 Bludgeon is pretty freaking good. And if I had a Lantern, I can do Bash Bludgeon. So this fight's over. Final Pain's in play. Tell me that Captain's Duel is not one of the best relics in the game. Uh, would you guys just not play Offering in Second Wind? Or you want to do Offering anyways? But I think the sustain is nice. Because like, like the fight's over, right? Because I already have Feeling Pain, so why would I waste Offering when I could just win? You know, why would I do Offering in that situation? You got the Evolve. You guys want to take a fall for the fight trifecta? It, it's kind of a curse. Do 
You don't think A-tier relics are one of the best in the game? Have is certainly one of the best. An incredible relic. Certainly one of the best relics in the game. I think Evolve is nice. I mean, it's sort of like another curse, though. It's another curse that... It's nice to have in the deck. I guess I can second win it sometimes, but it's just a curse. But when do you pick up the Evolve? You would take it in Act 3? We could take one armament, so we could upgrade the armaments and then just focus on removal instead. I mean, do Peach Pipe. We can make a small... So the smaller the deck is, the quicker we find Barricade. The problem with book is I'm not really taking damage against the book, so the uh, revolve doesn't do anything. I guess it works against slavers, but in general, this is sort of a curse. I, and when you opt into this curse, I'm thinking Act 3 you opt into it, if you're lucky to get it again. But we don't opt into it now. But it allows you to take more... F okay, I'll, I'll opt into the curse now. Off into the curse now, it's fine. It would be nice to, uh, have a moment to play the potion. Right now, potions are just useless, but I'm just holding on to it. All right, you guys think fire pot is better than block pot for the next couple of elites? Fire pot gives you more damage for the um, slavers, right? Who wants to rob? If you rob, frail is really bad for us because we're a block deck, but it gives us one extra strength. So there's there's a payoff there, and we can remove. We could remove the curse with out of campfire, but then it negates the whole curse aspect of it. I'm not really getting the shop, so I probably should just buy it. Kunai is interesting. That makes me the block thing go even. It makes me even more interested in block. So we gotta find ways to make Kunai reliable. Like this is a good time to have a block pot back, or I get, fire pot would also save me life here. But fire pot's also gonna be good against the slavers. We drop barricade just in time. I fucking love it. Do barricade and captain's wheel is just so sexy. Unfortunately, I'm doing offering again, but that's fine. Look at that, though. Yeah, unfortunately, Kalami may not ever be reliable, but it also may get there. Like, look, I got two. I got two dexterity out of that. Of course, offering was included. Two dexterity is. Not bad. Anger helps get it there sometimes. Oh, three dexterity. Ooh, we got exhum. Lucky we have the emulate, but we didn't upgrade the emulate button for this fight. And worse than that, guys, is we're taking... I have a feeling, guys, this is going to be really bad. Because I don't have lethal on the sneaky gremlin, because exhum ruined it for me. My... Oof. Oof. I should be careful with the self damage I'm taking because I don't I do have coffee dripper. Wait a minute. Uh is it ever unironically firepot to just kill one of the minions? Would you guys firepot to kill one of the minions? To make it so that sh she doesn't attack? Because once I get to turn three, I'm I win this game. I'm gonna go with my gut. I know it seems crazy. Alright, it didn't work out. Um, I didn't get to play Barricade, and Barricade is just like, fuck. This is really bad, because if I play Barricade, I win this fight. Wait, it was Barricade Emulate, wasn't it? Alright, maybe we just don't play Barricade this fight. If we don't play Barricade this fight, then what are we doing? We're going to be doing... Bludgeon on the Gremlin Leader? Without Barricade, I don't know what my life's about. Without Barricade, I don't know what my life's about here. Because it's a wa complete waste of Captain's Wheel. 
Does Barricade end up being worth more? So like you can kill this guy and save 15, but does Barricade end up saving 15 in the long run because of Captain's Reel? Because not only does it save 15, you can second win the Barricade for, five, for, for 8 block. So not using Barricade saves 23 life. Sorry, it takes 26 life. No, 23 life. Not using barricade takes 23 life, but it would give me 18 life after the fact. And then you also get 3 here, so you get 18, 21. Barricade might end up being worth it. But right now, I can save 23 life for just not playing barricade. And the question is, do I kill quick enough? I think with like bash, bludgeon, maybe. I don't think I do enough damage to Grimleader. I would like to stall. But I have Copy Dripper. Fuck. I have Exhum. Damn, I really wanted to draw the bat. Uh, so, uh, getting the impervious out. So, uh, I guess there's. It's worth mentioning that if I play the barricade, I can play Impervious Willy Nilly as well. That's worth mentioning, I guess. Okay, what if I just do Bash, Sever Soul? Bash, Sever Soul. And we're going for Lethal next turn. Do you guys trust it or nah? How about I just do Sever Soul here and Bash on the ground later and take the damage? Okay, I could do Sever Soul and Grim Leader, but let's just do it like this. No, I definitely want to, I don't want to waste Fairy in a situation like that. That is not a Fairy situation. We could do Exhum. We could do Exhum Offering again, but why would I want to do more Offering? Why would I want to do more Offering? Uh, it's like, with Offering is kind of sad when I'm doing Coffee Dripper stuff. Man, it's painful. The sound, but no, we're going for lethal. We're going for lethal. I guess you do offering because you're going for lethal. You do offering because you're going for lethal. I wonder if Barricade would have saved more life overall, because if not, nah, I'm happy with how I played it. We're going for Lethal next turn with basically Bludgeon, Anger, or something else. Barricade would have saved some life here, but if I get the kill, then nothing, nothing matters. GG. Okay, beautiful. Wasn't the worst, wasn't the worst. I think I played it fine. Ooh, ooh, another offering. Okay, now double offering in a deck that has barricade, fucking fantastic. But in a deck that has coffee dripper and no sustain, okay, now we have only thought or sustain. But in turn of the offering, it just be burning packs. Burning pack is the gift that keeps on giving with phenol pain, and I can selectively remove my strikes, make my deck nice and small. Two offering might be too much, right? But I'm just saying an offering in a deck that wants to play barricade ASAP, because assume this is going to be a deck that gets exhumed. Sorry, it's going to get um, entrenched. We're going to entrench and win the game. So with entrench in mind, how about we took a strike? Or how about we maximize some of these offerings that we're playing? As well as maybe maximize the impervious. Man, I have so much upgrade debt that this peace pipe never really works out, unfortunately. This is kind of awkward because um, that was probably the worst draw I've ever seen in my life. Not only did we not get a Kunai proc, that, that was just the worst drop I've ever seen in my life. Bar none. Got the barricade though. It's also impervious. I mean, it's really good. Got the, yeah, we have evolved for the, the wounds here. We should be fine. Just gotta get the evolve out, which is there it is. 
Problem is now I want to do bash emulate. And we're taking damage, so GG. I took emulate out of my draw. That's really bad, but I can kill in other ways. It's fine. I may not even want to do. Double offering one fight is fucking suicide. Even more so, it would be triple offering in one fight. Anyways, the fight's obviously over. The problem is our life. Need more potions. Let's go. Okay. Oh, double barricade. When you really want to get barricade out, what do you do? You take a double barricade. Now, this drop pick would be a cool way to get kunai procs. If only I had more source of vulnerable. Unfortunately, all I have is a bash, so drop pick doesn't work. But of course, my, the back of my mind, I'm thinking, yes. This barricade would be sick if I have an event that says turn this in, but I don't. But do you ever take a second barricade? Because barricade is so important to play that you just want to fill your decks with barricades. Once you get it out, you win. And the other one can be second winded. Is that crazy enough? Is that crazy enough for you guys? Just like for the content aspect. A double barricade deck. So that you always draw into it early. I mean, we're already taking so much life. Lof with double offering plus coffee tripper. Taking another barricade is going to make my life harder. It's just kind of cute though. Potion Belt is sick. I got this fight again with my non-upgraded emulate. Uh, let's see if we can draw into a barricade. That would be nice. Nah, we didn't. We can do disarm or we can just do bludgeon straight up. It's kind of sad to lose both the ghostly armor and the disarm. But it's also 46 damage, right? Unless you guys are thinking... Sacrifice 36 damage to get disarm ghost, uh, save your ghost armor in the deck. Are we going to recycle in this deck? If we recycle, we can just play impervious, and that's fine. I don't. I think the damage is worth it. But disarm does save decent life, and saving life is pretty important at this stage of the game. Uh, but it's 36 damage. Let's go for 36 damage. If I get a bash. Got the bash. Got the barricade out, which is actually worth it, right? Unless you guys think Cyber Soldier is better. But what if we just go for the kill? Like, yeah, we can do barricade because next turn we have Captain's Wheel. Or we can just go for Cyber Soul and go for the kill. Because we have block anyways next turn. It's not like barricade is saving me life right now. In case in point. That's why you do damage. Because Red Skull is here, baby. We got Magic Flower. There's my sustain. So now I can start bringing back some life. Little by little. Flame Berry is a green block card. Green block that works with... Um, doing damage back from multi-attacks. And it also is Barricade. Approved. This probably just gives me scaling. But I think... We don't... We scale block. We don't need to... Yeah, this is fine. We also scale Kunai. Evolve is important to play. Um, I could let this thing attack me, or I could just disarm it. I like to disarm the Chosen. But I'll disarm this just so I don't take any damage. Perfect setup turn. So Evolve is in place, so I can play these things really nilly. I think... I think I'm gonna make an executive decision to not play offering, because I want to actually start bringing some life back to my uh, to myself. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna use this as a nine health station. I don't need to do, this. This fight is solved. I do not need to do offering for this fight. This fight is solved. Bash helps me get this solved because of the bludgeon. Legend kills the Chosen. This guy's still disarmed. Struggling. 
Beautiful. So I got a perfect magic flower fight here. I was able to save. I was able to save a lot of life. Despite the fact that I have two offerings. I'll say you know the deck's coming together though. Beautiful magic flower. Another anger no. This fight should be okay. Alright, we're taking some damage here, no problem. Okay, I'm forced to do offering, unfortunately. Uh, do I have lethal? I don't think I have lethal, do I? So it's going to be 73 plus another one, so 74, 75, 75 life, right? No, I lied. 73, 77. Eighty-two life. Do I have eighty-two damage? Sixty-six. I do not. Well, that's sad. Down by one. Short by one. That's a lot of life to lose. But short by one damage is kind of shisty. That's where I think. A cheeky little thorns would have been perfect. Uh, we kind of want to get sustained back in our life. Red Skull is not bad with Pummel, right? Because we actually are Red Skulling up a little bit. And Pummel does decent Red Skull damage. Unless you guys think it's not worth it. I mean, eventually I'm going to get rid of these strikes with my Peace Pipe. But not until I upgrade my Vandal Pain and Pervious and Offering. I have too much upgrade debt to ever remove. And the second is, what do you guys think about actually going for the shop? Because we're kind of rich. Well, I just have too much upgrade debt, right? We want to upgrade Impervious. We want to upgrade Funeral Pain. To maximize it. And we also maybe want to just remove two strikes. So instead of upgrading Impervious and Funeral Pain, we could say, what about I just remove two strikes? If I remove two strikes, Kunai is harder to hit, but that's okay. Barricade's easier to find. What we really want right now is... What we really want is Entrench, and maybe the shop helps me find Entrench. And also, this these fights also help me find Entrench, because I think Entrench just wins. Entrench or Body Slam, right? Body Slam is not necessary, it just makes my life faster. I don't need Body Slam. Others, a couple things I would like to get, though. I would like to get like a Funeral Pain, so I always have a Fodder for Second Wind if I get on my deck. I wouldn't mind like a Targeted Exhaust to get rid of these strikes over a long fight. Not, not necessary, but like, you know, True Greater Burning Pact. Pummel is quite nice now. It's fine. Still good enough. You guys want to start removing? Or do you still want to maximize the second offering? Like, there's a lot of upgrade debt, though. Impervious offering. A lot of these are great upgrades. For a long fight, these strikes are shitty. I also want to upgrade a Final Pain. If I'm going to upgrade Final Pain, then... If I grab one Final Pain, I'm not going to get other other move then. Ooh, let's fight this. You got the Immolate, which is great. You also got an Early Bludgeon, which is bad. Because Bludgeon kills... Bludgeon would kill Bear immediately, right? Which is good, right? But then this guy's doing 6 times 2 to me. The thing is, we do have Pummel in the deck, so our damage has got a little bit better. It's just a bad turn one draw. I could kill this guy to save life. I think saving life is probably most important. But don't you think Bludgeon saves more life as well, overall? Yeah, but I think I'm not even upgrading Offering. I think I'm actually just going to upgrade Final Pain and Impervious. But yeah, removing Strikes is starting to look pretty nice. If I didn't have a Strike, this might be something else. I think saving life is the most important thing. I'm just trying to think whether or not killing bear now saves 12 life. Or if the fight's solved already.
I think the fight is relatively solved. So I'm gonna do this, save the 12 life. Um, I'll just do Sever Soul. I'm not, I don't want to do Offering because, okay. Offering might save me. So I'm only taking 2 damage. I'm only taking 2 damage. If I do Offering, I'm taking 4 extra damage. I think I'll just take 2 damage for this fight and we're fine. Red mask. A second second wind. You guys want a second second wind? Nah, I don't want a second second wind. What I want is something else to go with it, like a power through. And now we can remove the other strike. We, we can move one more strike, or we can start saying, hmm. Imperfect's looking quite juicy as an upgrade. Even second wind is a decent upgrade. The thing is, if I keep doing anger in this fight, I'm gonna get way too many angers. Yes, it gives me a lot of kunai draw, but. I'm going to get way too many angers in this fight, which is why I kind of want to balance it out with a trigger to a Burning Pact. It's a little bit risky to do too many angers. You kill Romeo first. Ah, uh, you think taking zero is better? Because, but wasn't he going to have block? He he was going to gain, ah, uh, but I had captain's wheel. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I had captain's wheel, so I probably wasn't taking damage from, from bear. Yeah, I had captain's wheel. You're right, you're right, you're right. I thought the bear was going to get a lot of block, and then I wouldn't be able to kill. You know what would be really sick right now? If I can get a kunai proc, so I'm going to do it. Kunai proc is going to be invaluable. It ruins my pummel, but who cares? Kunai proc, baby. And it, it gets, gets the pummel out of my deck, which is actually kind of nice. Alright, we got our offering. We got our impervious. We got our ghostly. We got everything. We got everything. The only thing I don't have is Phenol Pain. I would like to get Phenol Pain, Phenol Pain out first, because Phenol Pain maximizes my, my overall block in the deck, but I think my overall block in the deck is totally fine. So now the question is, how are we going to kill this? We can just get infinite... We just get infinite, um... In infinite block and just kill it like that. Like very slow kunai procs. Kind of hard to get kunai with this deck. I don't want to do the second offering, but maybe I should just get it out of the deck and make it... Nice and clean. We have four strength. I want to get all this crap out of the way. Bash is not bad, but let's get all this crap out of the way. Now the deck is nice and clean. Hey. I can do it purpose, but I don't want to wait. I want to wait till I'm not vulnerable. This would have been a sick good night proc as well. Do we, do we keep Impervious around as options? So do we want to do uh, Exhume for Impervious or keep it around as an option? Maybe you want to do Exhume Offering for a kill. Maybe you want to do Exhume Pummel for a kill. Maybe you want to... So I, I can just keep Exhume around as an option. I still ask my block, you think it's necessary? What else are you... I guess the question is, when are you using Essence to Steal? The thing, I don't want to use Essence to Steal because I'd rather get the Thorny Thopter value Act 3 out of it. So I got a Kunai proc out of that, which is nice. I added an Anger, but whatever. Keeping the offerings close to the chest. Um, if we get rid of... I think getting rid of these two defenses is probably fine. It's probably fine. But with Kunai, these defenses are... Nah, this is fine. I have enough strength to just kill, like, straight up. I actually like Emily because Emily adds burns with Evolve, which I can use a second wind fodder. That is my second wind fodder right there. We're still frail, so it's going to be hard to get the Impervious to be perfect. I guess my goal here is to actually go for a Kunai proc and add another anger to the deck. In order for me to do that, I would have to bring back Pummel. 
or just do offering to get into Kunai proc. Is offering worth the Kunai proc here? Well, here's the thing. He's vulnerable right now, so I can take advantage of that and try to split him. And if I split him, I'm going to be vulnerable for the execute, which is unfortunate. And I don't want to be vulnerable for the execute. But I can bring him close. I just kind of have a bad cycle. I'm vulnerable for a long time. But how else should I play this? It's just a bad time to do offering, though. This is another Kunai proc. It's one more Kunai proc. It is something, isn't it? This Kunai proc. But I could be blocking 28 instead. The Kunai proc comes with an extra anger in the deck, which I guess is not that great. So is the is the plus one dex really worth one plus one anger? Anger's not a bad way to dump strength when I'm trying to kill though, because if I'm not weakened, I have four strength. Anger's not a bad way to do damage. We have anger again. We're not weakened, so I could go now. I could go now and go for the big damage here. And say, I have enough block, we're fine. The problem is I'm going to be vulnerable for the execute. And how do I avoid vulnerable for the execute? I have such a bad cycle that I don't think I could ever not be vulnerable for the execute. I can do a offering again. Well, I'm not vulnerable, you know? Take advantage of the fact that I'm not vulnerable. I'm, I'm adding a lot of angers, but... Is it better to do this to get an extra... So what, would you guys just do Cyber Soul now and get rid of your second wind, your flame bear, and say, listen, I'd rather just draw into strikes now? The second Kronai proc is not worth it, right? Like, I could... Okay, maybe it was worth it Cyber Soul get rid of this crap, so I only draw into attacks. Alright. So he's got 100 in that. I'm always vulnerable, no problem. It is what it is. Angers are actually really good when you have 4 strength. As it turns out. GG, easy as hell. So Reaper's here. Reaper has Dubido, has Red Skull, so sometimes I can use Reaper with Magic Flower. Reaper's just a good card to have, and there's other ways to get strength in my life. I like it. Taking the Reaper button. Coffee Tripper keeps me nice and healthy. Market Pain seems perfect. It's an energy relic, and I have Second Wind to manage that, and I also have Evolve. Now sometimes the Market Pain can hurt me, but you know what? I have Offering to offset the Market Pain, and then I have Second Wind as... So I have Second Wind Evolve, first off, and offering to offset certain bad draws. It's market pain all day, every day. And let's try to win this run in an hour. So we have 16 minutes to win the whole run. We have a lot of money, but what I really want is events. So I can get Mind Bloom to get even more money. And I can go shop here with infinite gold. And there's a lot of campfires as well. The problem is these campfires are removal. So instead of going for the shop, I could just go for two campfires back to back. Or we can go over here and get early shop, but that's three elites. It's always this path for me. Let's go for the mind bloom. And let me let me just empty out this one sec. Oh, this this fight's really easy. GG. This deck is fantastic. Got the Reaper like I suspected. Like I planned, like I hoped for. Got the Reaper, no problem. Full life, and this is a dominant run. As dominant as dominant can be. A Shrug It Off is not bad, actually. Give me Mind Bloom now. Duplicate a card. Okay, what do you want to duplicate, guys? Phenol Plane Plus, Impervious, Offering Plus. Another Offering Plus basically says, all right, I never have draw issues, but I might have self damage issues. But I mean, Self-damage issues is not bad with Red Skull and Reaper Magic Flower to heal you back up, right? I 
I can actually do another fiddle paint. Another fiddle paint says, Donor deck is solved. We already knew that. I like another offering just to have make sure my draws are never bad. You feel the perv? You guys like the perv better? Now I kind of regret not upgrading the pervious though. But yeah, another impervious isn't bad. Big dick, the double barricade. The Fiendal Pain is like, it's a setup card, but once it's set up, it's like... I mean, I feel like all paths lead to Rome here. Oh, I'm gonna get a ways to handle the boss, it's fine. I have, I can find Barricade, sorry, I can find Body Slam, I can find other ways, it's fine. It's fine. Suck it for the perv or get another offering. Do suck up the double perf. Because if we do get Entrench... Ooh, I low-key want to take Toxic Egg. Okay, what about Strange Spoon? Strange Spoon says, Hi, I see you have Imperviouses. I see you have Reaper. How about you could use it more than once? Or you take a Toxic Egg because you want to look for upgrade. Uh, but toxic Egg is kind of late. It's kind of late. Let's be honest. All right, so let's remove and maybe think about the Spoon or maybe not. What's up, Amed? Thanks for the resub, buddy. Yes, we're supposed to get the egg first. I know, I know. But uh, I guess we can take the strange spoon. It has some value. It's okay. Do I want to spend money for it? Toxic egg still gives me some value though because it allows me to remove, remove, remove. So instead of upgrading, I just remove my last three strikes. And then toxic egg the last... I mean, this deck... Honestly, I feel really good about this deck. It's just... Actually, do I even want to remove or do I want to do something else? Like, what if we just buy a potion because we have Ornithopter? Nah, 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 nah. Let's remove. Hey, but is it ever pendant because we're lacking damage? Ah, uh, nah, nah, nah. Okay, who wants to buy a Scene Red, though? Scene Red would be much better once I have Dragon Brace, which I don't. I'm a sucker for Scene Red. Who wants Madness? If I take a curse, it makes my tr first turn bad, but it does give me more strength. What the hell does Madness do for me? We can Madness, Strange Spoon, and go for Infinite. Ah, uh, let's go for Infinite. Nah, fuck that. And Madness is pretty bad here. Madness is pretty bad here, let's be honest. Okay, this is awkward. It's a lot of madnesses, but okay, we're gonna have to heal back up in some capacity. Luckily we have Reaper. So we have Red Skull Reaper. So Red, Red Skull Reaper is how we heal in these fights. Red Skull Reaper is how we heal these fights. This is why we have Reaper in the deck. I can even exhume the Reaper again to double heal. That's the whole point, is the double heal. The problem with double heal here is that this guy is... He's being naughty with his block. And I, never mind, I can't exhume it because, well, as you guys saw. Oh my god. But Spoon, baby. Spoon is here. Should probably just kill. Right? I could Reaper the other. Let's just kill. Because we could Reaper the other ones, anyways. It's fine. Oh my god. The madness is going to be. Kind of interesting, I think. Try Reaper again. The goal is to Reaper again. Because I, I do have it in the deck, so let's get it. Okay. 
Well, that's awkward. Reaper doesn't actually do that much right now. It's still worth doing it though, right? Eh, I'd like to, I mean, we can sell as much as we want. Alright, that's good enough. We can exhume again. So we can actually exhume Reaper and be full life. It's a little bit slow, but we can exhume Reaper and do it again. And that's how you get full life. Yeah, some fights look scary, but then you have that as an option. Boom. Fight's over, full life. Gorgeous. And you know what? Power through plus, baby. And now we have a perfect constant thing with Evolve, Final Pain, Second Wind. Deck's done. Let me just get like Entrench, maybe a couple more things. Move some more strikes. And yeah, I'm happy. You know what I'd be really happy here though? Is not drawing Sever Soul. Even more happy I would be if I um, drew Immolate or Barricade. This is where Barricade wants to be. So you know what? I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to go ahead and exhume Offering. Because remember, we saw healing is totally fine. If I get Offering again, surely I'll find Barricade in time, right? Surely we'll find Barricade in time. Isn't that the whole point? Okay, we're gonna get some wounds This is awkward Cuz this is just awkward because I don't want to do separate soul I mean this fight should be done though. It's fine. I Could just I could have killed them I want to do Flame Bird to do more damage, but I could just get this out of the way as well. Honestly, man, if I had Barricade, I would just get rid of the whole hand. But now I gotta get Evolve out. Okay, beautiful. Perfect timing, like always. Never doubted it. Unfortunately, I had to use a draw pot, but that, that's life. I guess I didn't have to use a draw pot. I could always heal back up with Reaper. I didn't have to use a draw pot. But now, if this is kind of interesting because if madness works. Uh, on purpose and purpose does not get discarded that's a zero cost and purpose in my deck which is a little bit awkward just because my deck is getting quite large same concept here that's a lot of damage I'm taking how about I stop messing around this fight huh how about we stop messing around this fight we start killing the minions. And this kunai is just the saddest kunai in my life. Even with 5 energy kunai, never procs. Ooh, I forgot that I was getting weakened. But that is actually quite problematic. Did you guys know I was getting weakened? I did not know I was getting weakened. If I knew that, I would have attacked these things. It would have been perfect. I did not know I was getting weakened. Fuck me. I did not know I was getting weakened. That's okay. Choose you. Wait, another Reaper? How many Reapers too many? Like, Reaper's not even that good of a card for me. Why would I take another one? Inflame might even be a better card, just to give me some, a little bit more strength. I mean, our deck's fine. We, I think if we want to get damage, we could get a body slam or an entrench. Entrench just gives us so much block that it doesn't matter. We can kill with anything. Inflame might be actually better. Reaper's pretty good. All right, Juju, so maybe get the mind bloom anyways. 
We can remove one more strike so that we can find our barricade. Finding barricade is super, super important. I might have to get rid of Bash at some point, but with five energy, Bash sometimes is useful. Alrighty. I was hoping to get my barricade, but it didn't happen. Okay, let's get Calipers, boys. Hey, you gotta love it. You gotta love it when you have Impervious Spoon. All right, barricade isn't here. Oh my God, it's a free bludgeon. Could have done the kunai first to get more block, but it didn't matter because barricade wasn't here. Where the hell is the barricade? See, this is why you want the second barricade because now barricade's at the bottom of the deck. The Reaper is here to heal. Problem is, I don't have a Volve out. I don't have a Volve and I'm getting the draw. Why is the Volve at the bottom of the deck? Okay, bottle tornado, please. Offering's not bad. I think we can save the life though. Because we actually want to get back to full here. Second one, Flamebear does do good damage here. Flamebear does do good damage. Uh, I wanted to get my, my Reaper off. Unfortunate. We'll wait though, we'll get Reaper again, right? If not, it's fine. I can heal in other fights, it's not a big deal. This deck's sort of slow, but it, it can get faster pretty quickly. They can get faster pretty quickly. Doesn't take much to get faster. I could just end right now, but it would be sick to consider a Reaper button. Instead of just stalling for Reaper, what about his kill? But Reaper seems like it's pretty easy, it's like pretty free to get. Like I'm not in trouble. I can even Reaper twice with Exhum. The problem is when you keep drawing it like this. So I think we actually do it so we can play Exhum on it. Unironically. Like you, you could just get two exhumes. Uh, uh, yes, it's a little bit awkward, but yeah, GG. Eh, I mean, we'd like to get more out of it, of course. We're healing nine anyways. This might as—it's well, close enough to full life. It's close enough. Damn, I would, I would love to not draw that on. I actually really like Severed Soul now that I have 2 energy. I mean 5 energy. Gotta Exhum Reaper again. Look at that, full life. Gorgeous. Dude, this spoon is amazing. Ooh, Threaded Needle? Yes. So guys, I gotta ask. This is my first weekend. What's up, XQD? How you doing? My first weekend... Nah. No, not the cleats. Not the cleat. I could've been a boat. I could've been a boat. Alright, we can remove... The problem with the thing about remove is that it gives you one extra event. But we can also just remove here. So Juju was a waste, unless you guys want one more event. What event are we looking for? Man Blue is a rare relic, sure. Or I can go to this campfire, recall, and remove a strike. And then I'm done. So whatever. Juju was for one extra event, but that's fine. Deck's getting nice and cute. As it should be. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, we have Reapers. Free Reapers at that. Well, we're gonna have to heal up again here. I mean, this is not a fight you really want to stall on, though. I mean, I can, I think I can outblock this. No, I can't outscale this thing. I, this is not a fight you want to take time, waste your time on. This is not a fight you want to waste your time on. This is not a fight you want to waste your time on. Because if I had Entrenched, yes, I can outscale it. Because Entrenched is infinite block. This can outscale me for sure. But maybe I still can get a couple Reapers off, though. I mean, how am I going to play this? Maybe, should I take in the Inflame Plus? 
Dude, if I have body slam in my life, a deck is feeling pretty shitty in terms of speed. But a body slam will make my life so much easier. Oh, I got. I, I should have. Why did I do that? Why did I do that to myself? Why did I do that to myself? Now there's no funeral pain. That's a lot of block I'm missing out on. There it is. Alright, let's try to hurry this up. No good night procs, that would have been a lot of extra block there. Alright, we still have block for now, but it's getting stronger. This damn thing is getting stronger. This damn thing is getting stronger. This damn thing is getting stronger. I got the kill because Madness, unironically, is making Bludgeon a great card. Madness on Bludgeon is making my life gorgeous. Full life. Speed pot. Let's recall. Now, hopefully, we draw and trench our body slam here. Yeah, speed pot for the heart. Might as well kill one of these minions. Just so I don't have to worry, because once I get, once I get past turn three or four, the fight's already over. So let's just get to turn three or four. Unfortunately, I'm taking some damage here, but that's fine. Alrighty. Got the barricade, which is great. The problem is, there's a lot of damage in my face, so oh, uh, that makes Exhum worse. There's a lot of damage in my face right now. There's a lot of damage in my face right now. That's okay. How about I use one of these? The potion drop might happen. Oh, we have Reaper, so we have two Reapers for this fight. We're, we're gonna heal back to full anyways, but I'm doing that just mainly for the... We need to hit Immolate. Without Immolate, we're in trouble, actually. Jesus. Wait. Not being able to exhume back my Impervious is really bad. Extremely bad. Can I zoom back my impervious, please? And we can always reaper back up, don't worry, but. Okay, if I didn't do shrug, I could have done exhume reaper, and then the second kill would be here. Why did I do that? Why did, why did I bring that back? Why did I bring that back? I should have done Flame Bear Defend. Why did I bring that back? What's wrong with me? Why did I bring that back? Wait, none of these things are... They keep... They're not exhausting. Why did I bring that back? Need reapers to go big, but that's okay. We do have, we do have what's it called? We have red skull on it, so reapers should be good here.
Do we have some red skull value? Fuck. That's awkward. I should've done the strikes, I should've done the angers first. That was a misplay, I need to red skull us. I need to do anger, anger first. That was a misplay. That was a misplay, fuck. That was a misplay, my bad. If I do anger, anger first, I could've killed both of them. Okay, we can always bring back even more. Even more Reapers. One more Reaper for the fight. There's the other Reaper. Let's do one more and then we're done. All right, we're full life and now let's end the fight. Hopefully I don't regret not using that Immolate. One more Reaper. Okay. Oh, we got Calipers. Now we don't even need Barricade. Let's go. Give me Entrench. Okay, it's my first weekend. I'm taking the weekend. Alrighty, now we have another attack for Kunai and it's a weekend. Ooh, and we got Barricade right away. Even though I wanted... Even though I wanted to take advantage of Calipers, it's okay. Can we spam those Calipers buttons? Please. Ah, I, I knew it. That's why I made the zero cost, because I knew Spoon had my back. I gotta get Evolve out ASAP. Without Evolve, I'm kind of... We're in dire straits without the Evolve. There's the Evolve. Without Evolve, we are in trouble. This gives me a Kunai proc. This gives me a shit ton of block. Jeez. No second wind, that's fine. Uh, can we bring back our big, beautiful, pervious? Could zoom back the second wind as well. It's a pretty good second wind there. Really good second wind actually. Gorgeous. Second like funeral pain, yes or no? I mean, close line is my other source of weakening, but we should be good. I think our deck's big enough. Like, it's good. We, our deck really wants to find Barricade. So, no more funeral pains. We want to find Barricade. And that's all that's like, getting away from my Barricade. So, what do, do we just get rid of Bash now? Now, Bash gives me another, another... Yeah, Spoon is making my deck sort of like... First off, not thinning out, but also makes Fiddle Pain worse. I think we get rid of the Bash. It is quite nice to have the Vulnerable and have another attack. Because sometimes I just need attacks. But, because we have 5 energy, right? But Uppercut kind of does the same thing. I'm only worried that for the Heart, I need to get rid of artifacts. Or even for Act for Elite, I need to get rid of artifacts. And Bash is kind of nice. So if I don't do that, what if I just upgrade Impervious? Because I'm playing Impervious like a shit ton. And it's getting spooned. It would be nice to upgrade the Impervious, right? But if I minus one bash, I draw all this stuff sooner. Server Soul is great. I've been loving Server Soul. It's been playing perfectly. Activates Funeral Pain. Sometimes it gets rid of random junk. If upgrade Evolve doesn't do anything for me. So you need to upgrade Impervious or just get rid of the bash. And I've been liking the bash because sometimes it gives me Kunai procs on a bad turn and sometimes just having damage is quite nice, especially with Bludgeon for the kill. Oh, the Tok, Tok seems quite nice though in a world where it really wants to find Barricade. Well, we find Barricade anyway, so it pays to be lucky. Nah, no, follow up here doesn't do anything for me right now. Taking some damage. 
Taking some damage. I would like to do emulate for the Kunai proc, but I also want to block. Hey, what do you think is more worth it? Kunai proc? Or playing power through? No, power through gives me, keeps me ahead of the block curve. But emulate keeps me ahead of the damage curve. Gives me a Kunai block. How much is Kunai going to do for me? Versus just blocking now. Eh. Kunai is just a fantasy. I'm glad I upgraded that impervious. It's quite nice. But that was a whole bunch of block for nothing, though. I'm just stalling time. I guess I'm waiting for a Fetal Pain to get out. I guess I'm waiting for Fetal Pain to get out. And now that it's out, are we good? I don't want to redraw into any of this crap. Why not, we want to do second wind here. Let's see what it can hit. That's perfect. Let's see what else I can hit again. Not perfect, but... I might as well play my second offering, right? Because... Let's get one Reaper out. Just to get... Because we don't actually need the Reaper. Yeah, it's like, I don't think we're taking damage at this point. We, our whole point is to kill now. I do think that it's interesting that Flame Barrier is one of my best damage cards. Damn, we need to find some better damage solution soon. We have Disarm again, which is nice. Cyber Soul does a lot of block here. Eh, it does some damage as well. I guess get rid of my Shrug. My Shrug was... Wasn't my Shrug free? It wasn't the free Shrug. I have another Shrug. I kind of want to exhume back the offering. It's like a bigger turn here. There's the free shrug. I'm going to anger the spire. Reaper is unnecessary. Flamber does damage. How about we just go full block? Because block is pretty important. And that guy's dead. Beautiful. I mean, that's a 1v1, but you're giving me block. A 1v1 in which you're giving me block. Alright, wonderful for the rest of his life. I could have done these first. I could do disarm. I could just do. Yeah, it doesn't matter. GG. I, I love how Exum brings back the Impervious to make it so Impervious comes back with Spoon. I just love that. Am I am I really doing Anger on the Spire? I guess so. Anger. I have a lot of Angers in the deck. That could bite me in the ass. That could bite me in the ass a little bit. That has a lot of Angers. If I only draw Angers, then. Yeah, that's bad. As I say that, I'm playing more Angers. Yeah, but Angers are... Yeah, this is bad. Wait, this is pretty bad. Wait, I'm, I might actually get myself killed playing any Angers. I'm doing it just... Nah, I really shouldn't be doing this. I really shouldn't only be playing Angers. It's gonna be hard for them to. I mean, I would have to like whiff four times in a row, so it's fine. Nothing but angers, baby. Yeah, if we get barricade early, GG in the next fight. It's gonna be barricade, and this fight's over. 
I might as well just play Ghostly and take one damage. Or what's the point of playing? Because the problem is, I have Calipers, right? But I don't want to lose Ghostly. This is tough. All right, I'll do Calipers. And I don't even exhaust it. Just fucking amazing. Gives me Calipers, and it's not even exhausted. What more could you ask for? Um, this is awkward fight, big time. So it's really awkward, actually. Really awkward fight. Because Reaper was kind of a waste, because I can use it later on, but... And this fight's fine. I could always actually bring back Reaper and go back up. It's fine. This fight's fine. I could bring back Reaper again, because I have another Reaper in the deck. And this Reaper is just there to get another Kunai proc. Because why not? Why not get a Kunai proc, right? I like it. It's cute. Heals a decent amount. I mean, blocks, I mean, and then, okay, we got the barricade, GG. Got the barricade, GG. Um, we could play another offering, right? Um, Reaper? Reaper's gonna be fine. Reaper's gonna heal us back up, no? I should probably play Evolve. Uh, maybe that plane of all was not strict because I already only have one wound in the deck. So maybe a plane of all was unnecessary give up. Maybe I give unnecessary strength there. Yeah, maybe I give unnecessary strength. Maybe. I could just also exhume the charm, but I kind of want to bring back the Reaper just to keep healing a little bit and get a, and get another Kunai proc. Alright, we're good now. Fight's over, GG. Alright, no more angers though. No more angers. But yeah, that was kind of a mistake, I think, to um. I could still bring it back to charm, right? Let's start doing that. Just because I made this guy really freaking angry. And we have a Reaper to heal back up. We're, we're fine though. Alright. One more anger. I know. It's very angry. Reaper came back, which is great. Uppercut's so important though. Can I get uppercut like every single time? I love it. Impervious is incredible with Strength Spoon. More Reaper or shrug it off? How about just do this on? Because why not? Too many angers, too many angers, too many angers. Too many angers. I know the damage is so slow, unfortunately. Is it too many angers? Nah. Is it never gonna recall? Okay, that's a lot of angers. Actually, that might kill me. Nah, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, no more angers, dude. No more angers. Seriously, seriously, stop, stop, stop. I want more uppercuts in my life.
Listen, I never lose. I never lose, right? I might as well do all the angers though, because I think I win this next cycle if I just play all the angers, right? I should probably just play all the angers. Like I just I skipped out two angers for no reason. So I think I win the next cycle anyways. You see, if I would have played the other anger, it would have been GG, but it's GG regardless. Because I want to get full reaper, that's why. Just anger this. I can't, can't believe it angers my damage. I just get infinite block and it angers my damage. Alright, that was 2400, which is pretty good. Yeah, I'm scaling deck, so yes. The problem is scaling deck is not that important if you only draw angers. There's no nothing to gain from it. So we can choke the bash finally, unless you guys think we need that a um, little bit extra artifact stripper. Or minus one card is quite nice because barricade wants to be drawn. Or we can just upgrade the second impervious. I like golden cards, but I think removing the bash is probably the correct play. Brimstone, there's our damage, baby. Brimstone, there's our damage. So we were struggling for damage, and all of a sudden Brimstone came in. Brimstone arrived, and we have Fairy in the Bottle. Now, Brimstone is a little bit weird because we do not have that many Strength Dumpers, but Anger is a Strength Dumper and Pummel is a Strength Dumper. It's gonna... It's gonna make the Heart do a little bit more damage, but we have good block, and it also makes me do more damage against the Heart, no? Or does, is it too much damage that I can't handle? Brimstone is just bad because I don't have a... Because I have two Reapers, so Brimstone makes Reapers fine with Magic Flower. But it maybe, maybe it gets the Heart too much damage. Maybe it gives the heart too much damage, huh? What if I take Strength Pot Limit Break? That's gonna be four... That's gonna be six Strength against the heart. Maybe that's enough, right? I was thinking about taking Power Pot, but what about Limit Break against the heart? The alternative is to do Power Potion Remove. And just say power potion is enough. I don't need this power potion remove. If spoon is nice sometimes, let's do it. Hopefully they draw a potion here. Nice. Alright, we got some nice calipers. Shout out to calipers. Shout out to calipers into barricade. Oh yeah. Limit break's terrible here, but it was never supposed to be good here. I mean, kind of wants to be good here, but it, okay, Jesus. Alright, well now Reaper has to do some work. Thank God for Severed Soul. Reaper has to heal me back up. Or oh, I guess we can use Strength Pot, so it's fine. I would like to bring back the Golden Impervious. My damage is so slow here. I, I wonder if I was supposed to do string pot for this fight. Because I don't have barricade. My damage is way too slow for this fight. What the hell? And let me break. Reaper's not going to heal me for shit. Limit break gives me negative strength, doesn't it? Hopefully I just exhaust it. I got negative strength. Woo! Makes my Reaper even worse. But that's fine. Because we're just gonna use Ornithopter against the heart. It's fine. What if I get an ancient pot? That would be sick. Alright, so we have negative three strength. 
So Reaper at most can heal me two. I don't want Pummel back. I do not want Pummel back. I'm trying to get a Reaper for two. Reaper for two is better than nothing. Reaper is now doing nothing. GG. Exhume. Alrighty, boys. We got the limit break. Uh, what do we want to replace? We want to draw into barricade ASAP, right? Like, these are all cool and all, but we want to draw into barricade, and I want to get my limit break out. Unfortunately, I'm going to be vulnerable. Wait, this is bad. And, okay. Honestly, I would have liked to actually get a Kunai proc off of this. Okay, not bad. The main problem is that I'm vulnerable. We didn't find our barricade, but we do have... So the Liquid Bronze is good for damage. I'm gonna like that. Alright, if... Worst case scenario, we have free in the bottle, so it's fine. I could do Funeral Pain now. The problem with Funeral Pain now is that... I'm not really taking damage next turn, am I? I mean, I could be. It's kind of a waste of my strength. I think, I, I think this fi fight's won. We're going to Reaper back up a little bit. Once we get Barricade out, the fight's over. Didn't even exhaust. Alright, the goal is to make sure that this Impervious does not exhaust. Perfect. A zero cost Impervious that doesn't exhaust. Um, I'm kind of curious, how the hell did I get more strength? Red Skull. That's how. And both Impervious didn't exhaust. It's not going to be weakened, unfortunately. But we can bring back the Limit Break. Boom. Now we're now... now who, who's slow now? This was like, this actually a pretty good speed pot turn, wasn't it? That was a decent speed pot turn. Now who's slow? We have Reaper to heal back up. Remember those Reapers that look kind of shitty? Does anybody remember those Reapers that look shitty? Well, take a look. Feast your eyes. Feast your eyes on the shitty Reapers. Wait a second. I, that was bad order. I forgot Limit Break wasn't done. Whoopsies. I forgot Limit Break was not done. And there was a freaking bash the whole time. There was a freaking bash the whole time. It's okay, we have more Reapers in the deck. There's more Reapers in the deck. Lemon Break was huge. We can save this Reaper because Reaper is going to be pretty decent with Limit Break, right? And we're never really taking damage. So we can save that one Reaper to get even more. I mean, of course, the goal here is to get more damage, but perfect. Really? The Anger didn't draw? Really? Limit Break again? Why not? Everybody loves strength. Seventy-six damage, sever soul, and a fairy here is just chilling. Reaper full life, and GG. Bye, bye. 
And we ended with 131, 31, 31, and the score is 31, 31. Here it is, 31, 31. Actually, it's 32, 37. <laughs>